you guys so today we are looking at this which is the back to the future 1985 Marty McFly yes um, this has come from AliExpress so hmm, it's a clone it's a KO it's a bit like it's whatever you want to call it but uh, yep we have my McFly 1985 I also got the uh, Tales from Space Mike McFly, which will be another video, maybe tomorrow's, maybe to... I don't, I don't know, but it'll be around. Mike McFly 2015, which we've already reviewed, and Biff Tannen 1955, which you've already reviewed as well. So, uh, Ultimate Mazzy McFly, Maddie McFly and Doc Brown experience the adventures of a lifetime in an unlikely time machine as they travel to the past, present and future setting off a time-shattering chain reaction that disrupts the space-time continuum. Ah. Ah. So there we have the artwork on the side, there we have the serial numbers and stuff on the bottom. 93N052920 and the barcode, so if you have the real ones of these, check that back, check that, and see if it has the same barcode on it for me. Please, somebody. That is some nice artwork on the front there. Like I say that down the side, that on the back, and on the inside we have him with his skateboard. How does Doc drive that in there? It's the eternal question, and it dawned on me the other day. Um, he, he drives it in with the remote control. Remember, the car has a remote control, so all he simply does is just drive it in using said remote control. Simple as that. Then he doesn't have to use a gold wing does. See, I'm a genius. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. Um, it, it's very rare you get an award like this. I, I'm so, so, oh, yeah. Anyway, here we have Marty on this side with his camcorder, his backpack, his selection of hands, oh, with a guitar pick, skateboard, guitar, and a uh, strange Michael Jackson head. Oh, no, it is Michael J. Fox. Okay. And the glasses are slightly cockeyed, which I've heard apparently people have been complaining that the glasses are not always on straight. Um, yeah, they're not. Now, this came in one package with the Tales from Space version with the box folded. So when I opened this, it was already kind of open. So when we get into that bit, it's already open, guys. Right, pop him out of there. There he comes. Oh, just having just on the back of the box, there is the same picture there of the Dolorant. Hello, look, you can see me there filming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> oh, you can just see me. So it is tied in with um, silver cable ties, which we shall um, be sorting out soon. He has the skateboard there, guitar, rucksack, hands, which I do think look rather veiny. I always think some of them. Uh, neck figures hands do look a little bit veiny. There's a camcorder which I've noticed doesn't have JVC written on it, so I guess that was another copyright that they couldn't get. Yeah. Right, so um, I was going to try and untie these, but I had a look earlier, and I'm going to do this where you can't see me because I know it scares some of you. Pause. Yay! Why didn't I get scissors earlier? I'm doing it with knives. Oh, the yeah, ones on his feet will come out pretty easy. Right. There we go. That's that out. Um, that's another one to go in the trash can. Yeah. Right. Skateboard. So the head as well. I'll get to the guitar in a minute. Right, so that is the backpack. Quite nice. Hmm. Right, sorry, we'll show the figure off first because that's the bit that we're all here for. So there is the face. I don't know, it looks better out of the box. I was a little bit mm, with it in the box. He does seem to have a little bit of um, sort of mascara on. Is that what we call it these days? Does look a little darker. 
Right. Now I was, I did see yesterday, there is some pictures um, because they've, uh, Necker have been promoting the Doc Brown figure. And there is some pictures of it on websites. I saw some on Instagram yesterday. And that arm is really stiff. Um, I saw some pictures on Instagram yesterday of the Doc Brown one. And the Marty that was stood with it didn't have the, um, the life preserver on or should we say body warmer or shall we say if we really posh gilet um so yeah that one was a thing of interest to me i don't know whether we're going to get a slightly different figure or not i'm just running over it find where i'm going to put it it was over here somewhere i need some warm air to warm up that arm and now i cannot find my it has gone. Okay. I used it for something the other day and now I can't find it. I have a hairdryer that I warm these things up with. Um, and I can't, can't seem to find it. But anyway. Uh, let's... Just give me a minute. Alright, that elbow joint is really stiff. So I'm not going to overstress it too much at the minute. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Um, in the thing. So let's do articulation. Head turns that way, a little bit forward, not a lot back because that's in the way. Oh, I was telling you about the Doc Brown, wasn't I? Yeah, so the picture even without that on. But I've just had a look and it is, that is glued. It's glued down. There's little pegs under there to keep it down. There is detailing under there though. So it's not going to be too difficult for them just to not put that glue down the back as well yeah so it's not gonna be too difficult for not to put that on and just do the version with the jacket so that's another but mm, another version though i do think it's a picture i don't know if he was stood that way around so all they did was just rip that off i'm sure people will customize it people will take this off because i think it's just a little peg under there and you fill that hole in you see under there i get the light in it's just like a little peg so i'm sure people will work with that look at that he's already stood in the but dark kind of pose Oops, the head comes off. That has one in there and the other one has two. Uh, that head, by the way, is just yeah, the glasses. I, I just don't think it's the glasses, it's his eyebrow. If you look at that, it's his eyebrow that comes up. I didn't say it's not the same head though, is it? I think the head's okay. The eye, like I say, it's got sort of a bit of eyeliner in there, maybe. Hair's not painted too badly. I've seen some pictures of the other ones with bad hair. It's a bit off there, I think. Yeah. They said the articulation of the head's going to be a bit of a problem because it's going to bump into the the collar. Uh, the arms out all the way around. There is no joint there. Elbows to about there. I will work on that. I think it will go a little bit further. Uh, the wrist has got a joint that way. Nothing the other way. Oh, he does have his watch though. Yeah. Uh, there is no real crunch or twist in the middle because, again, there's another version. You get rid of all the jackets and you've got him in his check shirt. So, technically speaking, out of this mould, they can make one, two, three figures, which they will probably do at some time. That'll be interesting. Um, leg articulation up. This is a rubber section here again, which is sealed there. Oop. Legs out that way. Legs back that way. Knee joint. Not a double knee, just to there, which, yeah, okay. Now, the trainers do not have Nike on them. It is kind of weird because when they did the uh, Ripley figure, she did actually have Nikes and it did say all over the box um, Nike copyright. So, he's kind of. And you see I've got these. That's my worry with these these bits of like rubbery bits. You've not got to catch it because you're gonna kind of spoil it. <clears throat> Do you know what I think I need to get a new base thing because there we go. Nobody move. He stood up. 
Uh, so yeah, we have the backpack, which is kind of nice. We have the skateboard. I keep wanting to say surfboard, I don't know why, which has all the right logos on it and everything. I guess they got copyrighted for, you know, I mean, they got the permission for the copyrights for that. They say the camcorder should have JV, move my, should have JVC written on it, I think. But I know. Um, and that handle does need to be sort of moved down a little bit. I mean, it's got all the detail in there. It's a very nicely detailed. Very nicely detailed. Hmm. I like it. Yeah. Because that's probably going to be the the version that will be standing on my shelf. He also has his whoops, yellow guitar. Yeah. And a selection of hands. I'm going to take them out in a minute. One with, I think those two are obviously for holding camcorders and things. And then you've got the one with the, the pick. But if you remember in the film, I don't think he's wearing the, he's not wearing the body warmer when he does the guitar bit. He's just wearing the jacket. He puts that on because he's late for school. So yeah. But yeah, there's a nice combination of versions from this and there's a nice you know and I'm sure with the other with the other Marty's there's the other one you know, swap heads and things the hair is different obviously from that film to that film um, and Michael J Fox got a little bit older though it's supposed to be the same Marty that's actually supposed to be his son I think oh no the one with baseball hat's his son isn't it but yeah even that is a I think already out of box is is probably a nice pose. <laughs> You're kind of leaning forward a bit. Yeah, so he comes in at a towering, put his feet a little bit closer together for the for the height thing, towering just a little bit under, a little bit over should I say six inches and around 16 centimeters. Yes, and next to Biff, hello McFly, he is <laughs> kind of, kind of short. Why is he next to the other Marty? Actually, the other Marty seems taller. I guess he got taller as he got older. <laughs> yeah, so all in all, I am quite impressed with this. Uh, like I say, I know, um, okay, here in the UK, this figure is probably going to be well, it's probably going to be hard to find. I was in my local Forbidden Planet yesterday, and I'm going to say this on here, I don't care if they hear it. I was in the Forbidden Planet yesterday, and some of their NECA figures are stupidly expensive. They had the Alpha Predator, and they wanted 50 quid for it, which is pff, insane that they charge things like that. You can buy it online, even in the UK, for... 30 to 40 quid, so why they want to charge 50 for it is it's disgusting. But that's my rant over with. I'm trying to think which shoulder that's going to go on. It's going on that shoulder, isn't it? Yeah. Back to the Future is... Oh, look, that's handy, because look, his coat's actually got a, a groove. Oh, that's clever, that. They've kind of put a groove in there, so it sits. That is... That is nice. And it's a skateboard like that. Why do I keep wanting to say surfboard? My brain's just got surfboard in it. Yep, and there's the other head. Which, yeah, it's okay. I say the glass. I don't think it's so much the glasses are out of line. I just think it's his eyebrows raised. I'm sure I can re jig them around. Right, so if you have enjoyed this video, Please hit the likes, hit the shares, but most importantly, <clears throat> hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. Uh, thank you to all of you out there that have subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. It is mind blowing to me that so many of you have. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> yeah.